Like, I don't care that there's a dot there and I don't care that there's a dot there, but that could be a problem while shading. Could be. I don't know yet. Um, that's the back one. Yeah, that's the main back one. Yeah, so, like, in this area, I can kind of get away with a quick freehand fill-in back here, if this is on the right size. <laughs> really? Good old Samsung Gerard. You don't like that? This is like the best shit. Like I literally watch like little like shrimp dancing to it. Like in a little rave scenario. If I could find the video I'd share it. Fantastic. Like it's literally just like all these like little tiny like shrimp or prawns and stuff like that. And they're just like dancing away to like flashing lights. They're actually just eating but it looks like they're dancing. It's epic. That's what I think of. Like, obviously, I used to think of other stuff because the song's quite old and I've kind of, like, grown up with it myself, so I don't think too much of it. But, yeah. All right, that definitely helped. That fixed up that void. All right, let's get you some more lines back up here. Like, give you a ribbon space. Ah, I wish it would stop doing that. This one's okay, but it's an effort. Nope. This one is nice. I will listen to that again. It's fine. Uh, I thought I figured out my dad's secret talent. Oh, yeah? His talent. Should be able to get it. There we go. That's how you re-fuck and purpose a line. Beautiful. Just like that. Immediately done. That. That is super good with cards. Oh, yeah. I don't know. That never really surprises me. A lot of, like, um, a lot of adults are very good with, like, card games and stuff. I learned some. I just don't remember any. I don't remember any to be good enough at it, you know? And he teaches me how to cheat in poker. <laughs> oh, I love it. I learnt like canasta and some other stuff. I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't even know what they're actually like fucking. Oh, I, I learnt Texas Hold'em. I don't remember how to play though. That was poker. Yeah, I don't know. I played more like card games and stuff with my brother, realistically. I haven't played cards since I was probably about 18. I'm 35 now. Like, it used to kind of be the thing to do back before you had, like, a lot of computer games and stuff like that when you hosted, like, a party or not really a party but, like, a gathering or something like that. You could bust out some cards and, like, maybe have a couple of drinks or have some snacks and all sorts of stuff. And it was pretty great. But, um, yeah, very different now. I don't know anybody these days, apart from obviously now yourself, that really like plays cards and stuff. Like, or at least I don't know anybody that like manages like say that they do. Maybe there's a lot more people out there that play it. That was um, small. This is the only difficult part is if you like happen to take a line out and then you try to like come back and clean that up. If you don't notice it straight away or you don't notice that there might potentially be a line, that's where you can get like random ass dots just off to the side on a layer somewhere. Probably the worst thing is if you've got like a few hundred layers or something and then you go back in and you try to like remove a dot off one. That can take a while if you haven't done it cleanly. All right, much fine of that, except for this bottom one. Could do it a little bit more. Yeah. What? Sure. Wait, does it look a better one? 
What's this other one? It should be right next to it, maybe. Or maybe not. I maybe don't have the other song in this list. I thought he's got like two that are like. Never mind. When you're busy or asleep, yeah. The thing is, like at this time of morning, um, like a lot of the time when I start streaming, a lot of people are just waking up or just about to go to bed. So what tends to happen is people have like jobs and stuff to do. Um, and so like I don't always like I used to stream at ten a.m., but this time of day, I assume a lot of people are either at work classes or sleep so my usual like you know group won't probably still mostly be here but now for big moment or posts yeah let me know if your computer works he's talking about whether or not his computer will turn on and run i hope it does it's taken a while to like put together The other thing too is this is the the harder part too is that because like at this time of day pretty much anybody that happens to like click in and maybe is interested unless they happen to be staying up really late or have a day off or something like that like this isn't my usual stream time so like to catch me again would be like hours outside of like the usual routine um Makes it very hard for people to like anybody that like clicks in at the moment would be difficult to like see me again sort of thing i think you have a question what's your question like what i did with that my scariest nightmare i couldn't tell you that a waiver that would be 100 percent against the twitch terms and conditions um, you've got to remember, I've been through some seriously horrific things in my life. Um, so obviously I'll have really horrendous nightmares. Like most people have like a nice, like relatively clean, like weird answer to that. I can't. It's just not something I can ever answer. Um... Yeah, probably not going to be able to answer that, Hueva. That's that's one of those ones that um, there's a lot of bad stuff there. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those, like, lucky people that have, like, you know, managed to, uh, what do you call it? get away with um, uh, just normal nightmares and stuff, I guess. Your earliest nightmare, like when you're a kid. So when I was a kid, um, I've said this before a couple of times, actually. When I was a kid, I used to have kind of like a nightmare that um, I was like walking out of my school grounds and there was like basically like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a bull at the top of the hill. And it was basically, I had to get across um, to where like the pathway was across like the cul-de-sac to be able to escape the area without like getting harmed or something like that. And the bull would always like run down the hill. And most of the time I would try to just run forward to try to get to the exit on the other side of the cul-de-sac, usually failing. Um, and then when I got smart enough about it, cause I used to like have this nightmare. I used to go back into it nonstop. Like the nightmare would stop. I'd wake up and then I would go straight back into it as soon as I fell back asleep. And, um, so the thing with that was that I learned that I didn't have to run to the opposite side. 
um, all I had to do if I really wanted to, if I wanted to be safe from it, was turn back around and go back in through the school gates. And I'd be safe. Um, and that's kind of how I defeated that dream. So one of those weird things. But yeah, I, that would be like a basic kind of dream. I used to have like quite a lot. I have quite a lot of like nightmares and stuff. Yeah, it did. And I think like, I think part of the reason why I had it was that I used to watch The Last Unicorn, uh, which is a real, real old movie. I, I would not expect you to know that movie. It's very old and I don't think you can just find it everywhere. Um, but the idea was that um, in that movie, the unicorns were basically chased to like the ends of end of the ocean kind of thing and were forced to like basically go inside um, and kind of like, I don't know, they were trapped in the ocean because there was a guy that basically wished for it. So he basically got like a magical beast to go and do it for him. And in the process of trying to find where all the unicorn had gone because she was the last one, she left her enchanted forest and ended up um, having to be transformed into something else to not be attacked by the um, bull. And she was made human, which is basically the biggest crime a unicorn can have. Um, so yeah, I know that that's where that dream probably originated from, originally. I'm slightly prawning Kanye, thank you. I'm glad you guys are fucking keeping me in check because like seriously I'm just like every chance I get my body's just like we are going to like just 100% slouch for sure. Um, but yeah I had other like childhood nightmares and stuff like that. I had um, I had a repetitious dream where I would walk down well I would be kind of like walking out of the trees. There was like this kind of like a rustic house sitting in the middle of like a long grassy meadow and it was surrounded in a circle by like a wall of trees, like a dense forest. And you couldn't really see through the trees or anything like that. And I'd walk down into the, um, up to the house and I'd walk up onto the uh, porch and I'd sit down and I'd hang my feet over the edge and I just kind of kick my feet back and forth and then eventually boxes would be seen like entering down through where I came from and then you just see like the tails getting through like the um what you call it through the thick grass and stuff and then it starts circling the place and I'd always like pull my feet up but if I ever dared to look over the um over the like the porch thing or under it um they'd jump out of the grass and attack me um and then I'd wake up. That was a more peaceful nightmare because it was really beautiful. So beautiful there. Is it, uh, is it, it works fine too. Currently upgrading BIOS. I'm writing from mobile because I only have one keyboard. <laughs> I'm glad it started. Let me turn this one off. Let me see how that looks. Kind of weird. Mm. I sort of need them to be both up and back. A bit lower. I was amazed myself that I made it first try. Yeah. No, I think it's awesome that you managed to do it. Good work. I just still, no, apparently not. I was going to say, if I could just, oh, let me get that lasso. Like this. then rotate this. I don't know if this will rotate the whole thing. Maybe it won't. Go back down to like here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. You smoke, who are you asking? Uh, good song. Oh, Clips is pretty. Uh, 
That one's nice. Come on. No, well, I don't smoke. Um, I used to like, like the occasional like celebratory cigar or something like that, or like maybe a special event happening or whatever. Um, but for the most part, not really into like smoking. I'm an asthmatic, and on top of that, like people in my family also smoked all my childhood, so everywhere I stood, smoke would follow me. And that's why I was like interested in cigars because like they had more of a flavor to them and they didn't smell or taste like a cigarette. Um, but I never like consecutively smoked anything. Like it was always like go and get one thing to celebrate. Like, I don't know, having say turned 25 or something like that, like quarter of a century old kind of thing. It's something silly like that. I'm not really interested in like still doing it. I can bring these back just a little bit more. I don't smoke. Did try it though. Occasionally didn't like it very much. And that's the thing though, is I think like if you're like mildly curious, most people will like give it a try, probably at least once. Um which I mean it's fine. Doesn't really matter. I think it oh, that will take some of those lines actually. But I'll just Select that and then just fucking undo that. I think like that's the thing though, it's like most people like give most things a go once. Um and unfortunately with smoking, once can sometimes be all you need to accidentally get addicted. Um, and then you're kind of in a fuck situation. Okay. I was really scooting the line right there. I tried it, but it hurt so much. Yeah, well, I can tell you, being an asthmatic does not make it any more delightful. Put it to about there. It's on its own line. I can hide this other one. Nah. Not really. I think the ribbon does have to be a lot lower. Fine. I'll just move it down lower. It was like swallowing a knife. I can't say that it was like that for me. It just felt like everything burnt. I might turn off the back layer so I can see and judge this clearer. Yeah, I don't know. Plus the other thing too is as an asthmatic, like it's already difficult to breathe. You're already at risk of like asthma attacks and shit. So it can be... It could be bad. Like if I had been somebody that wanted to continue smoking, it would have been a real problem. At least for my health. And considering I have all kinds of like medical conditions and shit like that, I could only imagine it being like so much worse. Like healing and other shit. I could imagine that being so much worse. Like that, no. Yeah. Maybe higher. That maybe, yeah, that's what I need. That's a ticket. All right, this will be fun. I've put this on like a separate line, but it might actually work my benefit in all things considered. Uh, I do kind of just want to work with them as they are and I'll pull them down underneath another layer. So this actually is fantastic, very smart. Sometimes, just fucking around with something can be like the biggest way to like make something better, honestly. All right. Get that, that, and let me get, uh, I'll need my swatches back on. Wherever they are, there. Right, bow. Okay. Yeah. I'll bring that back behind some stuff. Like back here and a little bit further back down, actually. Actually, the only problem with what I just did is I don't have lines for it. Tell you what, hold up. Do that. Duplicate layer. I'll need two sets here. I don't have it called the right thing, but what I can do, 
make it real easy for myself to find by making it red and that one red. Yeah. That'll help. So I don't tend to like fuck around colouring these things usually, like the layers, but I've definitely found that that was very useful on some senses back behind the hair layers like that. Now I have the right layer. We have a drawing buddy. What's a drawing buddy? I don't know what that is. There we go. Uh, save that. All right, so when you draw with together, no. So I've never had a drawing buddy. Um, I have had friends that are interested in art and what I draw, um, particularly when I was in high school and some of my art was very like Sailor Moon themed. I definitely had a couple of friends that were like super fans of it just because I was able to draw stuff. Um, but like realistically speaking, um, none of my friends kind of are able to draw and the ones that can, um, not really anywhere up sort of where I am with it. Um, so a lot of people, like the other thing too, is a lot of people don't like drawing next to somebody that can draw because it just makes you kind of feel a little bit like shit. Um, unfortunately, it's not where I want that. Mostly just cause like, I don't know, it makes you feel like your skill level's less than it is kind of thing, if that makes any sense. I don't, I don't like put anybody down or whatever but at the same time like I know that like I don't know like I said earlier like I can't if if somebody's like kind of drawing crappy I as much as I would like to realistically like be like all friendly and encouraging and stuff I just don't have that ability to like lie like that and just be like yeah it's great when I'm like it needs so much improvement stuff like that so I'm not really the best person to draw with either which is ironic because you've been drawing with me for most of the night so maybe I'm not too terrible to draw with but yeah I don't know some people appreciate like brutal honesty and other people do not and usually the ones that don't um yeah they they just appreciate the art usually dead because I think drawing with friends is really good to teach each other tricks I think I would have probably like enjoyed something like that maybe although I'm extremely competitive so I don't know how well that would have gone down for me <laughs> like um pretty much like you know how I've talked about like my weightlifting and stuff like that that, that I've done before right so the only reason why I got up to such seriously high fucking weights was because my brother was like, um, I can do this and there's no way that you could. Um, and I'm like, fucking watch me, bitch. <laughs> and it's just like, when I proved her wrong, like, I don't know. I've got a very competitive streak. That's why I also don't enjoy necessarily competing against people nowadays. Because I, I know I'll take something very seriously when it's just for fun. And that's not cool. Oh, I want that to be behind that layer. But not a competition. No, but the thing is, like, as skill level advances, like, if they're able to do something and I cannot for the life of me figure it out, like, my brain is not automatically wired to think um, maybe they'll guide me in figuring out how to do the thing my brain is i must defeat them at all costs like fucking take no prisoners style like that's that's essentially how my brain functions <laughs> so you draw your oc or whatever together yeah this might be why i don't have a drawing buddy <laughs> i get the feeling that it's contributing at least Yeah, I don't know. I think the other thing too is I've never had a friend that's had an OC either. So 
like I can't imagine what a friend's OC would look like and like the other thing too is a lot of like growing up primarily most of my friends were male because they had the same kind of interests as me anime games sporty stuff whatever right um a lot of girls were just not interested in that shit so never really bonded with like any female friends in that way and then I went to an all-girls school so I couldn't exactly have like a guy friend to draw with I did have like a couple of co-workers that were like pretty cool about my art they were always really nice and supportive that was always nice but yeah I don't know it's just a weird concept to me to think of somebody else having an OC character that would draw beside me kind of thing it's like my brain can't think of it you know all right. Well, I'm not going to go too ham on this. I don't probably need to put any like lines and stuff on the bow, but I will put more for the shadow one. No, this one is. Yeah. I will put a little bit more shadowing on here. Um, probably as soon as I can figure out how to do it. This is the only thing I hate. So this is what I was talking about earlier too, is with shadowing and stuff like that. It's very difficult for me to fucking figure out because, like, I don't have any kind of formal training. I mostly just have to observe stuff. And because it's been so long since I've drawn consistently, it can be really difficult for me to, like, figure out what I'm supposed to, like, where I'm supposed to put a line and shit. I'm currently making windows and solar. I figure you also may have heard your name as I was saying shadows a lot. Um, I assume that's also what kind of brought you back in. Well, apart from the fact that you're like letting us know what you're up to. You had a feeling, or what was your feeling? I should do. <laughs> Look, I, I've yelled out a couple of times today to like stop that. So, my question to you is did you suddenly dramatically stop and apologize randomly somewhere? Like last time? <laughs> that was still the funniest shit. The shadow will come when you say his name. Not necessarily. So I wish that was true because like there's been times where like I've said like blessed or moose or grim or whoever right and I've been like oh it'd be so awesome if such and such turns up at this moment um but like usually usually if somebody's not chatting they're either busy or away or even not here like that's another thing too plus like, unless somebody's actually talking to me or I'm recalling something funny from a previous stream that's happened regarding something or someone, like, I don't tend to, like, mention people's names out of the blue for no reason. So, I actually don't mind that. Interesting. I kind of want one to, like, come out this way. Like, no other reason than just to, like, that. Uh, tuned you out a bit. It was tense the first PC and BIOS update. I don't blame you. That's a lot of money and you put a lot of work into like getting it up and running. Like it's one of those stressful things. It's like I hope everything's in working order and I hope that nothing's like broken or fucked up or damaged or anything, you know? There you go. So immediately we just have the very next emote. And I kept her ribbon extra small just because I know that it's, like, going to cram in. No, no, no. We heard this one a moment ago. Fuck off that. Yeah. Let's get some fucking kids in America in here. All right. Yeah. Where's my things? Background. You. All right. That's the difference between one image to the next. I don't know how long that took, but it sure as fuck wasn't, like, the seven or so hours or whatever that the previous one was. Oh, yeah. Before I crop anything, make sure everything's merged. There we go. This might actually help me now that it's fucking merged. Actually, before I do that, hold on. Let me save this. That would be a lot better even still. Merge that. Then get you cropped. Be a little bit different because you've actually got a ribbon this time. I have interest. I really love this song. 
probably actually have a bit more of her neck involved with this one. Maybe. Yeah, a little bit actually. I could probably take it down to about there. Look a little bit better. I'm going to be getting into the insides later too because my proper CPU cooler be coming in a few days. Oh yeah. You just kind of like using your old one or a makeshift in between. What's this? This is... Take this down to one. The big distance. I may have to extend this up a little bit. This is why you take the time to draw a little extra. All right, because I actually need this extra space right now. Put that up a little bit more. Two, two, four, four. I'm going to be the exact same starting size as the other one. Cut off this ribbon a little bit. Probably two, four, four is getting fucking close here. There we go. That's two, two, four, four. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm actually happy with that. Fuck yeah. Nice. All right. This will be tier one fucking shot. Um... Let's get, get you down to proper size. Let's get you scaling. One, one, two. There we go. Fucking hell. Shadow, don't scare me. I think you scared a waiver too. You need to stop cooler now. I came with CPU. <laughs> I might have actually missed your message. That might have been why I got cheese slapped. <laughs> I did say if I'm not like responding fast enough or whatever, cheese slapped me. Export that to where we need to put that. Let's get this wording in here. I did not get scared. But me, asking how I feel. I feel fine. But my shoulder's really sore. Like, I'm able to get up to nine hours now without having horrendous shoulder pain, multiple um, heat packs and painkillers and all sorts of stuff. I took painkillers when I started streaming and then they've long since worn off for the osteoarthritis in my shoulder. But um, yeah, no, I feel pretty okay after having no sleep since Monday and streaming for like nine hours and drawing nonstop and only getting up to get Azula off my chair. <laughs> she was on my chair for a little bit. I'm feeling pretty good as Quaver, just cough now. Yeah, um, Shadow's not nearly as sick as he was before. See, I need folder sizes now. All right, what are we up to? We need a 56. And when they get smaller and smaller, they look so fucking horrible. The longest term of it seeing you do I think now I've had a couple of 10 hour ones before Shally there was one where you, one of my last art streams where you like came in and I was showing off cat girls and stuff um that one ended up going on to I think nine hours and 40 something minutes or something like that when you went off to work uh, whereas um there was another stream long before anybody even really watched me do art streams and um I streamed that one for like 10 hours or something straight that was an effort because like I was doing all of that with the mouse back then. So I'm so fucking glad to have the tablet. I really am. I just need a better fucking desk space that I can actually like use it more frequently between streams. I was at work, I had earbuds in. Yeah, I, know, I fucking remember because I was like, I was literally like shouting at you like the fuck are you doing awake at this hour and so on and so forth. And you're like, I'm going to work. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> the the tables have turned and it's like daylight for you now i see how it is so, thanks for reminding me a friend got came back when i asked him and it was available tomorrow evening that music makes tired i missed something was i could play the tomorrow because i want to finish that's right yeah you're learning off your friend some guitar lessons and stuff that'd be pretty cool um i don't know Maybe as you like get more practice and stuff like that, you can always like put a clip in the music channel of just like the audio or something recorded if you feel like it. All right, let me get out of this one. 
because that'd be a lot faster than bringing up the other one. So hydrate can fuck off. We'll do that some other error. <laughs> um, let's see, emotes. What have we got so far? I don't think I put them in here at that size. Um, so that's fine. Let's bring them out here. Where is it? That's not the file type I want. So we have shot. Shock tier one, shock tier two. So yeah, I like how like the ears and thing move. I like that. I know it's not the bigger one I normally have, but I'll have to like recrop properly to get like the bigger picture that I'd normally have for them. Cause I didn't save that like version yet. I did save the files, I just didn't do the extras. So let me fucking slap whatever one that was into, what is it? Uh, tier one. Yeah, that one, me and you. <laughs> yeah, do that. All right. Yeah, it reckons it's there. So basically you can pretty much probably refresh and it was probably available, give or take. Have a look if I can see any of mine. Use a Felix emote in all channels. Yeah, I got that. I can't see him from mine yet, but if I went into, I don't know, I'm not gonna fuck around with a browser. Fine, they'll be there. Um, I will open up and try to like recrop up the big size ones. Um, where did I put that? Did I put that into moats? Maybe. Uh, what are they called? That and that, I think. Should be these two files. Yeah, there's one and two. All right. This is the fun part where I try to like make them roughly about the same size, give or take. I only need, to, I don't need to like crop anything specific. Like I don't need to like move anything. I just got to kind of like get this roughly where it is, which would be too hard once I open up a picture. And he has time. Beautiful tomorrow we play. Nice. So you get to play the guitar tomorrow. That's pretty awesome. Let me open up this over here. Um... I need you to move over there so I can still see chat. Okay. So, it's up about here. Right there, about there. That. Yep, on the tip of that ear. Not quite sure what the sizing was exactly. I remember saying them earlier. 255 doesn't sound quite right. Oh my god, a paper. Go to the toilet. If you gotta go, fucking go. I, I'll be the first one to say I'm not holding you here against your will. Oh, you need the toilet. Jesus. I can get that one fucking thing over. Should be about right. I need this to go down by like. Yeah. All right. Yep, that's the thing. Okay, let's save you in a moat. It's a bigger version. Um, I normally save a big version of the emote, and sometimes I forget. So when I try to like show you guys an emote, it's very hard to like show it off when it's like fucking this size. Now I'll have a bigger version of it. They'll be like nice, cleanly cut. And now this one that you recropped. I'll need the other picture. Hold on. Oh, wait, I need this one. Bring that up way big. All right. We're missing a tiny bit of the edge. Uh, we are all the way up here. Oh. This one I do roughly remember, but we'll see. It's like 2244 or something like that. That. Then same on the other side. It's a lot easier when you've just done this. If 
I can remember it like that. Yeah, it looks right. Nice. That is so much faster. Export that. Art, motes. There we go. Cool. So, two fucking emotes a tier one, a tier two. Um, shocked. So, I'll be curious to see what they look like when they're available. I'm not seeing like any up yet, but if I refresh in the browser, see. It doesn't say it's like pending or anything. I'd imagine it should be like ready to go as from as is. Let's see if my stream manager, hopefully it doesn't do any like double audio. No, it's muted. Cool. Can you show me? Yeah, here they are. There we go. All right. They are kind of like teeny tiny, but it's fine. We'll get used to what they look like. I'm sure they're probably bigger on a mobile phone anyway, because I tended to notice that like on a PC, they're tiny and on a phone, they're a lot more zoomed in. So they shouldn't be nearly as like hard to see. Um, where is my program? Back in here. Yeah, they should look more like about something like that or that, give or take. I know I've zoomed it in a heap for you guys, but for me, it should look like about this in the, in the phone, I think. Kind of zooms in a fair bit. Should be plenty easy to see, I hope. Either way, with all of my emotes, if I need to customize it, I'll make slight changes and shit later. But like the main thing is whenever I have to draw a new, what I call like kind of like framework, um, they kind of take ages to get all the line arts, all the colors and all that down to begin with. Um, once I've got all that down, it's so easy to just fucking customize them and use them for multiples and stuff. They look pretty decent on mobile. I'm glad. I'll get to take a look at them later. Like obviously, at the moment, I can't. Um, 